Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam, Loy Macedo is the best. Okay, in this video, I just want to give you my thoughts about Indians and the way they behave. Now, before you jump the gun and say, hey, racist, hey, this and that, Indian passport holder here, okay? So, I'll give you the specific examples and you tell me if I'm right or wrong, okay? You tell me if I'm right or wrong. The first one. This is to speak about the bad names our Indians, they give for the rest of India. Now, I understand that there's one billion population and uh, we can't paint everyone with the same brush, different religions. But these behaviors that I'm talking, very common with our Indians. Number one, our Indian tourists. It's, <laughs> it's so funny that even in Thailand, even a country like Thailand, even in the village, people have a bad name for Indians. In fact, go to Pattaya and talk to any pub owner. He'll say, Indian. He'll, he'll give you that expression. Like when I used to tell people I'm from India, no fucking way, man. Not only because of the tattoos. Like for example, if an Indian comes, he'll come with many friends of his. He will order a Coca-Cola or a you know, carbonated soda. And then four or five people will share the straws. This is what they have told me. They will share the soda or they'll have one drink, one beer for, I think, hours and hours. Then another one is when they have to ask for, even the girl, they want to ask for sex. How much last price? <laughs> even sex they last, last price. Okay, final price, how much? Okay, me and my friend both, how much last? Okay, and there are even cases where after they have sex, they have refused to pay. The next one is the body odor. Oh goodness, I've heard. And I know this is a fact. Forget the Indian curry and forget the Indian DNA. Uh, it's basic grooming, man. Fucking hell. And you'll realize this when you go, I have traveled Air India and that's the last fucking time I traveled Air India. Oh goodness, the stench. You go inside and it's like you put your nose into someone's armpit. The air hostess, oh fucking hell, I've never seen a fat, ugly air hostess. And there she was, auntie. She was a good lady, she was being very polite. But please man, when I'm paying money for an aircraft, I don't expect to see a bloody brontosaurus, bloody buffalo. She, oh, she was big man. Fuck, you could see the tires protruding out of her stomach. And worst part, Fuck, she was wearing that Indian dress, the blouse. You could see she was fucking sweating, man. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? But because she was like, Namaste, and she smiled. I was like, oh, okay, fine, whatever. When I went in, whew, the smell. Fuck. Everybody, I don't know what. Everyone forgot to put deodorant or what. That smell was there. It was like a smelly fucking, uh, like if I go running and I take out my underwear, you know, your ball sack, you know, it has that musky smell. Fuck, I was like, oh goodness. <laughs> I was hoping that my nose would get numb. I just took a little alcohol and I put it on uh, this thing. Alcohol means not, uh, you know, like uh, a sanitizer, this thing. I put some and I was just smelling. Okay. Then... Uh, if that was not bad enough, man, these Indians, they, they don't have a concept of talk slowly or talk politely. Hey, 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 Sunna, hey, 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 Ramesh, hey, Mahesh, hey. Fucking hell, they are shouting. It's like it's a fucking BST bus. You know, BST bus is like one of the bus. Hey, Sunna, hey, hey, oh, Bosri, hey, oh, they, oh, fuck. And you're like, man, where the fuck have I, <laughs> where the fuck have I come? They, they're shouting at each other in the aircraft. And then if that was not bad enough, like they group together and they're 
some of them are sitting on the seat you know the hand rest some of them have put both their legs on the seat and coming up like this and the way they are behaving is like you know when a child uh gets to play in a play zone okay and they are and the air hostess that lady please please aap betiye aap betiye ah okay okay and they are still talking and then once it's done the next one gets up i'll tell you that was the first time i chose not to go to the toilet that is a because if they were smelling so bad here i didn't want to even even imagine what the toilet would be like i can assure you that it would smell of fucking onions and i didn't want to die so i didn't go to the toilet fuck yeah okay and then if you thought that was bad enough <laughs> this is another thing uh, when the aircraft is taking off they still don't say it they're still running around jumping okay fine when the aircraft fucking stops man the aircraft is not in fucking taxi like you know it lands and it has to taxi all these guys are fucking getting up they're fucking standing up and opening the overhead and grabbing the i'm like oh, man it's still moving and the air hostess is please sit down please sit down please. and then it parks it taxis and all these guys have stood up and one guy is like this and one guy like this. i'm sitting there i'm like man are you fucking kidding me it's going to take the next 10 to 15 minutes to open the fucking door why are you standing up but they all have to stand up okay they stand and they wait and they wait and i'm like boss <laughs> they are not going to fucking open the door why the fuck are you standing finally when they open it oh the rush oh fuck they have to push they have to oh and someone else is stand and push the luggage and pull and things will fall and you just keep quiet i seriously i wait until all of them fuck off all of them are gone then i get up and i quietly go i look at the air hostess and she is like look like someone punched her 100 times on the face <laughs> sir thank you <laughs> fucking hell man oh my oh another thing uh, indians ordering alcohol fuck it it doesn't happen in air india but i've seen indians in emirates airlines uh, can i have one peg one one whiskey please they not even sat down i want one whiskey and they will order two three bottles of fuck and some of them are piss fucking drunk by the time they land piss fuck they smell and they'll take the tissue they'll take the peanuts see i used to do this when i was small the tissue and all that i used to think these are giveaways when i was small these are grown ass people taking tissues and the water they will take and the jam they will take butter they will take <laughs> some of them even take some of the cutlery and i've seen this i've actually seen this i just keep quiet okay now this is another thing that fucking irritates me okay now when i've seen an indians land here man you can make out a contingency of indians colorful all of them colorful all of them some of them will wear white shoes and white trousers looks like they are going to play tennis and you can make out an uncle tom yeah <laughs> and man are they loud fuck they will never talk slowly their jokes are ha 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 they will talk and laugh so loudly are yaar bosdi ke this and that and they will laugh and shout and they will be so noisy and and you know the the thing that really gets to me is now obviously because i stay here they i don't look like an indian so they don't know i'm indian but i understand hindi what i don't like is they'll speak in their dialect they'll speak sorry in their language and they will actually make fun are chutiye ko dekh 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 chutiye ko hey hi how are you he is calling me a fucking chut cunt and then he is saying hi are bosdi ka chehra to dekho you know this double standards very common with our indians and when they go and order something your like i was in this coffee shop they are so condescending hello i want coffee coffee you don't do that man uh, you know the thai people obviously they talk in their language they they like they say this indian oh shit you know they for them they are disgusted and i remember this two three females were there they were indians 
and uh, they were putting their gold i don't know why the fuck you have to show your gold they were wearing the gold so i could make out that they are indians i just told this girl hey, you know it's not recommended uh, you know don't mind me saying this but i'm a resident here it's not recommended for you to you know show your jewelry instead, <laughs> instead of being thankful or hmm, excuse me she was like hmm. and she i was like oh huh? okay she thought i was trying to make a pass at her or something like that and she was talking in her native and native language and saying who is this guy oh my god is a freak and she thought uh, maybe as one of those uh, can blame her must be she saw tattoos for the first time and then when you go to the hotels oh these indians oh. i i have friends who work in hotels they say the most problematic customers now one is chinese one is indians and our indians you know there there are these videos which are circulated online of them stealing uh, hotel stuff it is so common in fact uh, the hotel um, the people have been warned if it's an indian make sure before they check out you check the towels you check the you know ashtrays you check all the decor you check everything they have taken literally uh, like this girl she works as uh, you know the the staff who welcomes the guest she has been my friend for years now she said they have stolen remotes they have stolen salt pepper the thing they have stolen ashtrays they have stolen stuff from the bathroom they, obviously they take shampoos and soaps and all that that is on they have taken towels big fluffy towels like one of them was caught with oi woo now this is what i call ho oh. see lucky you got to see it first coconut fell down uh, now do you understand why i'm so fucking afraid now this is a rare one a coconut actually fell down need to tell my wife ani ani see this one ha ah. so the first time coconut has fallen down and i escaped fuck that was lucky it is not bothered anyway hey how was my reflex action Whoa! like you know brutally wow oh i always knew i i would run away <laughs> fuck man that was close coconut falling down okay good survived you know the chances of dying with a coconut falling down is 0.0000000 and it almost happened okay back to my videos ah i lived live another day james pond No, Ramesh Pond, hmm, whatever. Okay. Then, uh, like I was saying, uh, our Indians, the, this 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 lady, she found that this guest had taken six towels, and uh, when they checked, uh, opened his luggage. Obviously, they didn't file a police case, but uh, you know he. And then after getting caught. these shameless indians are still with their ego oh okay okay wha- how much money i'll i'll give you the money man you have just done something wrong admit it that you are at fault fuck they don't have a sense of humility still their ego and uh, you know if you piss off people especially when you're wrong they'll not fucking leave you and then there are uh, these indians at a buffet this thing they will they actually i didn't know this but they actually take food and they put it in their purse like you know croissant and all that they're looking left and right and they put it in their purse apple okay fruits i can understand croissant and chicken pieces and and then they'll pay for one and they will share it with somebody else i mean why are you guys doing this man and then they are so loud you know one of the hotels it seems told the indian guests how to behave and people are saying oh it's racist no it's not racist this is how our indians behave i being an indian i'm telling you this this is how our indian wave in fact i applaud that hotel for actually calling a spade a spade please good because if see let's assume you have australians canadians japanese uh, and if the majority of people were always doing the same thing is one particular nationality obviously you have to point that out right you have stats like even in religion which religion they chop heads off which religion they shout the name whatever and then they explode come on man 
So overall, what I want to say is uh, the problem is our Indians. The the population is the almost like the highest in the world. Okay, this is second highest, but look at one billion. When you have so many Indians, and that also an economy that has grown so fast, with so much of money to spend, purchasing power, easy money, and the eighty percent who have never seen the world, all of a sudden when they get to travel and do things, they will behave in the most pathetic manner, unimaginable. It is so bad, and the worst part is because the population is so big, it's like every. third or fourth person sees an indian that is why they say even if you go on the moon you'll find one indian selling karak chai you know <laughs> uh, now obviously what is solution there's no solution our indian mentality of cheap bargaining please sir please sir free sir please sir please sir help me sir uh, never end uh, like i said it's not to say that Every Indian is bad. Uh, yeah, and since I'm talking about India, is one last thing. Let me put it in. Whenever any, given the population is so big, whenever you have any Indian who leaves India, migrated abroad, and has succeeded, they'll always take credit for oh Indian origin. Like this lady from Canada who became some big government official. She has dumped the Indian passport. She has accepted a Canadian citizenship, and now you are trying to associate. Oh, Indian origin? No, she is Canadian. And then Kamala Harris, her mother or someone was Indian, married a Jamaican, and who doesn't even stay in India. Oh, Indian origin? Sundar Pichai and Satya Nadella, Satya Nadella, who who have a bloody American passport, who have dumped the Indian citizenship. If that is the case, then every criminal, every underworld, every rapist who has an Indian origin, why don't you associate with that also? <laughs> This association part, when someone does something great, oh, Indian. <sighs> And then, uh, just to conclude, then these Indian guys are big fan of yours, coming to meet you. For what? No, sir. Big fan of yours. I want to come and meet you. Uh, one, <laughs> one of them. I want to meet you. I want to hug your daughter, give her a kiss, and she's like my daughter. Are you fucking kidding me? You're going to come to my house and fucking stranger, male, hug my daughter, kiss my daughter. Oh, stupidity never ends. And there have been one or two cases where they actually landed here and said, "Hey, Loy. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I'm here." Uh, Where can we? I mean, Samu, man, let's fucking meet. Yeah, fucking, fucking, fuck. That's fuck off. Meat. Eat some meat. Not fucking meat. Fucking stupid. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Because I, <laughs> I'll tell you, even a prostitute, even a prostitute, you ask about an Indian. She say Indian. Eh? <laughs> anyway, so what I wanted to share with you. Let me know your thoughts. This is me signing off. You guys take care. Yeah, yeah. I know what you're thinking. You can get a job in the Middle East simply by trying or by magic through others or by a fluke. Remember that competition is everywhere. Some here, some there, but bam. Loi Macedo is the best.